Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station where you watch and learn. I'm your tutor, Mr. Mwangi Francis, and I'm taking you through chemistry form 4, where we are discussing energy changes in physical and chemical processes. Welcome. So, the recent goals for today, by the end of this lesson, you'll be able to state what is enthalpy of combustion, you, also, you will also be able to determine molar heat of combustion. And lastly, you'll be able to represent heat of combustion in an energy revolve diagram. So what is heat of combustion? It is defined or it is also known as enthalpy of combustion. Previously, we have defined what enthalpy refers to. That is the heat content or energy content in a chemical substance. So when substances burn in air, they release energy in form of heat. Now, combustion is always an exothermic reaction. That is an exothermic change for that purpose. Energy is lost to the surrounding. So enthalpy of combustion is defined as the energy change that occurs when one mole of a substance completely burns in oxygen. I will emphasize on that. Energy change that occurs when one mole of a substance completely burns in air. So what, what is the need for us to study enthalpy of combustion? So the energy produced when substances burn in oxygen is different. And for this reason, enthalpy of combustion can be used to determine heating value of fuels. So heating value of a fuel guide the decision when making a choice. That is, should we use charcoal or gas stove? The same case applies to diesel engines or motor engines. Should we use petrol or diesel? Okay. Can we use coal or any other form of energy? So that is why we need to understand what enthalpy of combustion is. Okay. Then, how do we determine enthalpy of combustion? Let's look at this illustration to be able to understand how we determine enthalpy of combustion. From the setup on, uh, that we have here, you can see that we have a uh, shield, weight shield, which reduces heat loss to the surrounding. Uh, we have a metal calorimeter, which is an apparatus that we use to determine heat value, which will be gained. Then down there we have fuel, which is contained in a lantern, for instance, and that heat produced will be used to heat water. So uh, once we look at this uh, illustration, the fuel which we have in the lantern will lose heat, which will be gained by water, which is contained in the calorimeter. The result of this will lead to an increase in temperature. So there is one assumption that we are going to make here. That is heat lost by the fuel is equivalent to heat gained by the calorimeter and its content. Therefore, the heat that will be gained by the water will help us know the heat that has been lost by the fuel which is being burnt in the calorimeter. So that is uh, other, other than that setup, we can as well as have the calorimeter itself. Let's look at it and how it looks like. So we have, uh, it is normally wrapped in the interior part. We have the content, contents of the fuel that we want to determine. And then we have a read to ensure that no heat is lost to the surrounding. So we have calorimeter plus air. Well, that is what that we need oxygen to enable burning to take place. So which readings are we required to make? We are supposed to get temperature change. That is final temperature and initial temperature that will be gained when water uh, is heated by the fuel. We also need to get mass of the fuel burnt at the initial part of the experiment and after. 
when we get the difference this will give us the mass and the mass will help us to determine the moles of the fuel that have been burned so for instance when 8.0 grams of sulfur is completely burned in oxygen in a copper calorimeter the heat evolved raises the temperature of 500 centimeters cube of water by 35 degrees celsius calculate the heat of combustion of sulfur take the specific heat capacity of water to be 4.2 joules per grams per kelvin into brackets we have the relative atomic mass of sulfur which is 32 then how do we go by getting the heat of combustion of sulfur so assuming no heat is lost to the surrounding that means heat evolved by sulfur is equivalent to the heat gained by water so what we determine is the heat gained by water that is what we can be able to determine and then since they are equal then it will be directly to the heat evolved by sulfur heat gained previously we have said that enthalpy change is given by mass times specific heat capacity multiplied by uh, temperature change so the mass that was burned mass of sulfur is 8.0 specific heat capacity is given as 4.2 and temperature change was given as 35 and when you compute this in your calculator this gives us 1176 joules that is 8.0 grams of sulfur rebarates 1176 joules what about uh, 32 grams which is equivalent to one mole of sulfur that gives by multiplying that gives us 4704 joules so that means the more heat of combustion of sulfur is 4704 joules this information can be represented in an energy level diagram as shown since it's an exothermic reaction the reactants have more energy than products uh, let's see whether we have been able to understand the concept of today's lesson by so doing uh, by answering the following question we'll be able to see whether we have been able number one what is enthalpy of combustion now a student measured 50 centimeters cube of water into the beaker and lit the burner when the temperature of the water had gone up to 12.8 degrees celsius he found that 1.0 grams of propanol had been burned calculate the energy produced by burning 0.1 grams of propanol all given the specific heat capacity as 4.2 joules per gram per kelvin and this will help you to answer question number two which is calculate the number of moles of propanol all in 0.1 grams uh, for more of this information you can refer to klb edition which was uh, uh, produced by in 2009 by secondary by kenya literature bureau and the book is titled secondary chemistry students book four you can as well as refer to patel uh, 205 secondary chemistry published by english press you can as well as reach us in the following you can send an sms you can uh, see us in elimu tv or follow us in twitter as given below thank you